The Life of Toni Morrison. I'm a believer in the power of knowledge and the ferocity of beauty. So from my point of view, your life is already artful, waiting, just waiting for you to make it art. This is a quote by Toni Morrison when she gave her 2005 Princeton University graduation address. My name is Rosie Jefferson, and today I will be examining the life and legacy of award-winning author and professor Toni Morrison. I will be taking a dive into her early childhood life, her college experience, her many bodies of work, and the success and accomplishments she found upon completion of her academic career. Toni Morrison's examination of the Black experience, specifically that of Black woman, through her influential and transformative books, such as Beloved and The Bluest Eye, has earned her immense recognition and honorary awards, as well as offered treasured visibility and connectedness for the Black community and the Black scholars to come after her. She was born on February 18th, 1931 in Lorain, Ohio. She is the second of four children, and her father's name is George Wolford, and her mother's name is Rama. According to the journalist at biography.com, a website dedicated to documenting the lives of successful individuals, Morrison later credited her parents with instilling in her successful, with instilling in her a love of reading, music, and folklore, along with clarity and perspective. Toni Morrison was not always called Toni Morrison. She was actually born as Chloe Ardiella Wolford. According to Carrie Lee Alexander, a National Women's History Museum journalist and fellow, when she was 12 years old, she converted to Catholicism and was baptized under the name Anthony after St. Anthony of Pauda. She later went by the nickname Tony, of which she is very well known by today. Ms. Toni Morrison graduated from Lorraine High School in 1949 with an honors diploma and decided to further her education at Howard University, where she became a successful member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority and eventually graduated in 1953 with a bachelor's in English and a minor's in the classics. She then went to Cornell University, where she got a master's in English and graduated in 1955. Upon completion of grad school, she became a professor at Texas Southern University, where she taught for a few years as an English professor. She then returned to Howard University, where she taught once again as an English professor for seven years before she moved to Syracuse, New York to become an editor for Random, Housing, Random House Publishing. Ms. Toni Morrison did not published her first book until she was 39 years old and she was still employed at an, as an editor at the time. Her first book is called The Bluest Eye. Margaret Fox, journalist for the New York Times, writes in her article that is dedicated to remembering the life and legacy of Toni Morrison that The Bluest Eye, published in 1970, is narrated by Claudia Meter, a black girl in Ohio, who with her sister, Frida, are the product of a loving but strict home. This book is based upon the young Black girl's journey with her racial identity and her longing for blue eyes. She has written many more books, such as Sula, published in 1973, Song of Solomon, published in 1977, and Beloved, published in 1987. All of these books examine the intricacies and struggles of the Black experiences of which Toni Morrison is now known for writing about. She has earned many prizes for her work, such as the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction and the National Book Award, Award. It can also be noted that she is the first Black woman to win the 1993 Nobel Prize in Literature. She also received an honorary doctorate degree from the University of Oxford. Toni Morrison's chapter closed on August 5, 2019, when she lost her battle to pneumonia. From her childhood in Lorraine, Ohio, to her education at Harvard University, and furthermore, Cornell, to her many books, such as The Beloved and The Bluest Eye, she has accomplished much in her life. Although she is no longer here, she left behind a treasured gift, books that will continue to lift Black voices and, and inspire Black scholars to come. Thank you.